Hi, I'm Dr. Katie. I'm both a medical doctor and a breast cancer survivor. And today I want to tell you something really important. Don't let your phone ruin your 2020. I don't know what your relationship is like with your phone, if it's a healthy one or not, but I know that mine isn't. And that's one of the goals for my 2020 is to not let my phone ruin it. How is my phone interacting with my life and in making it worse? Okay, I can think of a thousand things, but I'll just start with the first few. Um, I really want to be living in the present moment. It's something I talk a lot about. And it's hard to do that when I'm constantly glued to my phone. The other thing that's really important to me is that the people in my life know that I value them and um, that I care about them. And fostering these, these you know, deep connections with the people that I love and, and making sure that they know that they're appreciated is important. But sometimes my friends and my family don't feel that way if I'm constantly glued to my phone. In fact, research shows that despite um, us being able to contact each other instantly in a thousand different ways, as a society, we're actually less connected. As a society, we're actually lonelier. And as a society, we're having worse outcomes, health outcomes because of it, whether it's physical or mental health. Um, it, being on the phone all the time is actually getting in the way of fostering deep and meaningful connections in person. It's sad, but it's true. So what do you do about it? Put your phone away. It's okay if you're not seeing what's on Instagram all the time. It's okay if you wait five minutes to respond to a text message. Be in the present moment. Be with the people that you're with in person and foster a connection in person that's deep and meaningful that can be done in a way that that you can't if you are always distracted by your phone. Um, I know for some people that constant bing bing of the phone um, can be anxiety provoking. I live remotely right now. Um, I live between um, the Northern Territory and Australia, and before coronavirus, um, I spent a lot of time in Bali. However, now that coronavirus is around and we're locked down, um, I'm, I'm quite remote in the Northern Territory, and at times, the Telstra phone tower goes out. The longest we've been without mobile reception has actually been about a week. Two weeks ago, I was out um, without reception for about two days and the first few hours were painful I just felt like oh, I wanted to check my phone. I wanted to check my email I wanted to message someone and I felt uneasy and then after about a day um, I felt this sense of just freedom and I was able to live in the moment more and I was less distracted and it was actually like a phone free world was actually amazing and then of course the reception came back on um and that happened anyway I don't know where you're at with your relationship with your phone but don't let it ruin your 2020 because I definitely don't want it to ruin mine thanks